get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah. My name is Maureen Koich. I am an actress, musician, and a creative entrepreneur. My art is my life and my movement to help make the world a better place for you and I. I'm not loud, yet a proud artist. I still have my fair share of life, dreaming and hustle to do. So welcome to my world with just you, me, and my camera. Let's move and groove as we keep it real. This is how we d this is how I do. to change my clock. My clock reads 636 and it's not 636, it's like nine something. Ever since I um, changed my battery. Oh yeah, I changed my battery. Did, did, did I tell you guys? I changed my battery, finally. Oh my goodness. So at least this Shida Dogo Nogos. I'm, I have less of Shida Dogo Dogos and more of Shida Kubo Kubos. Because in my life right now, I want Shida Kuboko. No, I don't want any Shida. Sorry, God forbid. Do not want any Shida. I need to sanitize. Sanitize away. All right, before we leave, let's pray. Let's ask God to bless our journey and bless you guys. And um, yeah, man, we ask for God's uh, favor. Thank you, Jesus, for this amazing day that you've given to us. We are thankful, we're grateful. Uh, for who you are, who you'll always be, who you've always been. We ask for forgiveness of sins, Almighty Father, that you may forgive our sins and help us to live better according to your ways. And even as we go, that we, you may be with us, protect us, guide us, and show us the way, uh, lead the way, and set the way for us, Almighty Father. I pray for my audience members that you may also bless them, O oh Father, in their, ver uh, in their various areas of need and want. Thank you for everything. We love you. We thank you. We bless you. We praise your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. We can go. We can go. We can go. Wapi, that's a situation. 
Yes, now we can go! <laughs> Hello, traffic! It's actually not so bad by the way, trust me. This is actually pretty fair. So yes, so today's a shoot day um, for my poem shoot or poetic shoot. And I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I always love shoots, always love recording, always love what I do, man. So um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's go see what the uh, day has in store. Then after that, I have two other meetings so yeah it's a pretty busy day today um, but yeah we, we keep on we keep on we keep on we keep on I literally just made a split-second decision whether to go right or left based on what I usually know or what <laughs> yeah it's duck it's duck guys sorry sorry about that what uh, yeah, we're back, we're back, we're back. Um, let me just lighten that up. Yeah, so I literally just made a split second decision to go uh, using Forest Road or A104. They call it A A104 <laughs> towards Ngara. Yeah, because usually sometimes, you know, maps usually, there's usually less traffic on that side and more traffic sometimes on this side or vice versa. So I haven't checked my maps today. So yeah, I just anyhow, that's that. So yeah, uh I today I will tell you guys about my very very first audition. I just thought it was it would it would be a nice story to just tell you how it was and what my experience was because people have different experiences. Hey, I need to change lens here because I don't I will find myself in Ngara Bila Kupenda mm, so it's done all right so my first audition yo so me I'm here I'm in Strada that was maybe back in what 2010 I think yeah should have been sometime around that yeah around that year or time yeah so 2010 I'm in Strathmore Uni uh, Strathmore has this uh, drama club called drum sock uh, that's literally where I I grew from you know professionally that's where I grew from I started in, in high school but professionally I started or I grew from Strathmore's drum sock it's the drama club there so yeah um, we're there doing this plays and you know really nice plays and staging them at Allianz um, and then a friend of mine called Frank uh, comes you know he was part of the of the of the of the drama group as well and he says you know what so guess what what the hottest show on tv that time was changing times y'all the hottest show on tv that time was changing times okay let me just take a few minutes i just focus here because i think i need to know where i'm exiting from Nisijipata, Sijui, eh? Nakuru, Vasher, <laughs> Vasher, eh? Nisijipata. Actually, I think I'm supposed to be on this lane. Yeah. Huh. Yes. Um. Yes. So the hottest show was Jennifer Gatero's uh, Changing Times, and me, I was just dying when I watched the show. I would just be in my world. Because, you know, then I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a performer. I'm an aspiring, I'm a young, aspiring performer. And me, I would just watch that show and die. I was, I was so intrigued by it because it was so new, so new and so fresh. Nothing had been... No, actually, there was a show before that, that by the same producer, by Jenny. I've forgotten the name of it, but it had um, a host of really cool um, uh, talents as well but that was but still changing times had had its edge it had its really really fresh edge you know its own unique 
um, vibe, you know. So anyhow, um, so Frank. So that's now before, before, before Frank, before uh, my audition. Um, so Frank comes to me and tells. Uh, actually, it was the, the whole group, the entire group, and he's like, "Hey, you, you guys, you guys should go and audition." I've had there's an audition at uh, at uh, where was it? it? Was in town. There was um there was like a campus in town, a media campus, and that's where they were doing the audition. So me, I go. Yo, so you mean I'm in I'm in drum sock, so I'm doing my plays there, you know. So yeah, I am dumbfounded. I could not believe the opportunity because you know me, I'm watching from home, changing times, and I'm like, I would do anything. I would do anything. Okay, not like really anything, anything. I wouldn't like kill or like sell myself or sell my soul. <laughs> but you know that you're just like why. I can walk to Naivasha, Mombasa and back <laughs> if you ask me to just to be on the show you know and here is someone telling me you guys there's an opportunity to audition for the show I could not believe it so I go for the audition you know we partner with you know aspiring talents and we talk and we connect you know, I remember meeting a friend. I, I, I lost her contact at some point, but we were there talking and just vibing. It was just this f amazing, fresh vibe. And I get into the room. I, I'm, I'm given a scenario. What happens when you go for an audition? I think we'll, we'll, we'll get into auditions at some point, uh, a bit deeper. But usually when you go to an audition, either they'll give you a scenario, the ones I'm usually used to mostly, they'll give you either a scenario or you'll do a monologue most of the time that's how it goes uh, so me for me they give me they gave me a scenario I think something about uh, breaking up There's this guy so they call another guy in to audition with me and we audition together so they gave us a scenario I'm um, the chick he's the guy uh, would, I think it was something like a breakup or I don't know something and I just call out to my emotions y'all I call out to my emotions, I tell myself, I call myself to a meeting and I tell myself, you guy, this is the dream I have been waiting for. This is my breakout. You need to ace this. You have to ace this. And there is no, there is no two way, there is no second chance. Maze, so. <sighs> oh, then there's a guy who's like, um, Let me see if I can give some help someone out here. Um. What's on, buddy? Buddy, kia. So yo, hmm. Yeah, I actually need to check my maps right now because um, yeah, I need to check my like traffic manners and all that stuff. Good stuff. All right, so shortly, um, Tendelena, your story. Tumefika wapi? Tumefika kwa... Yes, I'm auditioning. I do my audition, I do my best, and I go home. And I am there praying. I pray to God. I'm like, Akia, Nani, God, this is the breakthrough I need in my life. Because unfortunately, um, um, no, because uh, actually I was still in school. Yeah, I was still in school. So I actually did this when I was still studying, you know, at Strath, um, doing IT. Uh, but, you know, IT was never really my, 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 my passion. IT was more of a, you know, I was just like, let me just do something that will apply to my life. Because uh, I knew technology was hot and, you know, um, you could always apply to IT to, you know, whatever area of, of, of your passion that you, you go on to, you know. Like right now, I'm, 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 I'm still applying my IT knowledge, you know, in my filmmaking or in my, uh, in my acting, however I know. Um, and however is relevant. So anyhow, guess what? I get a call. I get a call. I think I screamed. I know that is... I, corny everyone says they scream when they get that call but you know this is the call i don't think i, I remember when i my my, my second gig uh, after changing times was like that lies that bind and that, that's a story for another day but i remember i, I remember getting the call for lies that bind and i was just like okay thanks 
I I literally remember that moment. I was in a mat. I was in like a hopper going, I don't know from where to where. I can't remember. But I remember I, I got that call when I was at GPO. And I, and I was just like, oh, cool, thanks. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't in that high spirited. It, it, it probably had to do with this, the, the surrounding I was in because I was in a bus. You know, I can't scream in a bus. Of course, I was happy to get the opportunity, but for changing times, this was maze. This was like, you know, because I'm not in that space. Because you know, with the lizard bind, I'm already, I'm already kidogo in that space. So I'm, I'm kind of getting used to getting these opportunities, not in a bad way, but in you know, you're, you're, you know, you're growing and you're expecting that growth, and you're, you, you know, you're going for all these auditions, so you know that things, things are gonna come. But this one for. Uh, changing times it was so unexpected because it was my first time and it was this opportunity the big 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 time you know you're watching all these talents and actors on tv being so larger than life and you're just like i want to i want to be there not because of the fame or the money and i'll tell you about the money issue later on but i was there for the passion i was so passionate about it man so I get the call uh, and Jennifer tells me, come to I&M um, standard offices uh, then, I th you know, they, they were based, I don't know if they're still there, but um, they were largely based at, at uh, I&M. So I go to I&M Towers and she called me later on in the day, like at six or was it 7 p.m. or something? And she calls me to a room and guess who's seated on the other side of that room? Edith, Edith Kimani. Edith Kimani is there and I am a starstruck. <laughs> Yo, I'm starstruck. I am starstruck. Okay, Mohin Koetje says starstruck. Oui, 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 I am starstruck. A good one. What? And I, I can't believe my eyes. I'm just like, I, I, like, for real, I'm getting into this world. And she's like, uh, so yeah, we liked your performance. That's now Jenny. Jenny, she's like, I love, we liked your performance and you got the role. So see you on, I don't know which day, which day, uh, come here, let's shoot. <sighs> Me, I'm just in my world. I'm thanking God. I'm just, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's like you, like maybe, I don't know, like for instance, you're, uh, let's say you're an IT specialist. Tomorrow you get a call, you're like, Silicon Valley is calling you. You're an actor. Tomorrow, Hollywood is calling you. You're uh, what, 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 what? You're, um, I don't know, whatever special, uh, specialty you're in. You know, just imagine playing at the highest level. That on That's honestly how I, th uh, how I felt and how I took the opportunity. Because at that time, that's the highest I would see locally in terms of my practice. I was just like, you know, changing times is the creme de la creme of performance right now. You know, I've, and I've never been a, a theater person. I've never really had um, my passions like um, rooted in theater. It's never really been my thing. I'm a TV girl. I'm a film. I like I like screen. On screen acting is always has always been my thing. And yet I started with theater. I started with theater. So um, yeah, but you know my passion has strongly been rooted. Goodness, what is wrong with people? What is seriously wrong with people? What? Mse anenda uku? Alafu anani kujia hapa ata kunigonga. Surely. Goodness, Kenyan drivers. Hmm? Motishika adabu nye nye. Sisi. <laughs> Sisi. Ata mimi. Ata mimi. I always have my own issues as well. But uh, yeah, let's be careful of the roads, guys. And let's give way. So yeah, man. Um, That was... That was a, 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 an amazing gig for me and so later on I'll tell you guys about now my very first uh, now when I got on set you know in this particular location uh, to shoot changing times my very very first on-screen experience ha, go where go where this is traffic looking at me like what where are you going girl hmm? girl where are you going where are you going? I want to keep you here. I love you. I want to spend time with you. So we're going to keep you here with us. And seriously, I really, really try to avoid dri driving around Nairobi. Mid midday to like 
midday around midday and around um and around what time and and, and peak hours i just really over most that's why most of the time i'm just driving home um after hours after hours like late 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 or very early in the morning like i'd rather go where i'm going like at five chill wait for my meeting at seven as i'm doing my work that's me i'm I, i'm not a traffic person i do not like traffic uh, this is crazy Yeah, but it's cool. I'm not so far off. Mm. It's a bad time to drive right now. Wow, 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 wow. It's a bad time to be on the road. But once in a while, you ha you barely have a choice. Barely, barely, barely have a choice. All right, take it positively, man. We have to take things positive. All the way, all the way. We have to take things positive. The other day I was actually, I, the other day I was washing utensils on my sink or in my sink. And I was washing this plastic bottle. Um, and it was mangled um, at the tops in a side, like it had gone in sort of um, uh, just a bit, not so much. So I took a spoon and used this, this, the narrow end to sort of try and bring it back using the inside part. So I was going to put it in the And guess what? It was in the middle. It was for like um, five seconds. So I put down the, I put down the, the, the spoon. I, started, I, continue, I continued to wash it. And guess what? It went back in. And in that moment, it just gave me a thought, like sometimes you can be so used to, um, um, what's it called, dysfunction. Be very careful that you don't get used to dysfunction because this bottle was okay. I mean, when it was manufactured and was distributed with whatever contents it had inside, I'm, it, I'm sure it was 100%, you know. Then at some point, uh, ika gongwa kidogo, ika ingia ndani, ika kaapo for about maybe, I don't know, for days or weeks or months, whatever. So now when it comes to the point of now ni menataka kulainisha and trying to, you know, get it back to how it should be, it's, you know, imepoteza form. It's, it's, not, it's not getting back. It's, 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 you know, it's not getting back to reality or to normality. The new normal is dysfunction. You know, and that's the literal uh, instance of, of it. But now when I thought about it deeply, I was like, oh my goodness, we should never, ever, ever get used to dysfunction. You know, things might be difficult or bad where you are right now, but man, don't get used to this. Don't get used to it. Don't, you might be there because of circumstances. You're trying your best. You're doing your best to move or do things differently but things are not moving and things are not working out but don't settle yo it can be so easy to settle don't settle always look to the future always live your present in future does that make sense don't live your future or your, don't live your present with the past because that leads to permanent dysfunction and you will stay there and that will become your permanent normal don't don't get used to dysfunction, man. Always move, always. And even if you're not able to move, that's okay. It's okay that you're trying to make that step, but you cannot, you, you're not making it. You're not doing it. You're not stepping. You know, you're not, your foot is not able to step, but don't stop trying to step to make that step. So guys, yeah. And that's, that, that's for all of us. You know, I'm always, as I'm, telling you this I'm, I'm, I'm applying it to my life as well you know because um, a lot of times we tend to you know people tend to think that you know I have it figured out no I'm also you know in that space sometimes and it's a constant battle where I'm trying to tell myself yo you know so in, in, in encouraging you and in advising you I'm advising myself as well so you know it's a win-win for everyone you know it's, it's a reminder to myself as well so Thank you guys. Thank you for listening to me and thank you for, for yeah, for being my audience. 
uh, and for, for for taking that, for being there to take that advice. So yeah, man. All right, uh, traffic up in Miami. Where? Where in Miami? Hi, Songi. Hi, Quendi. Marhaling.